Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to Binging with Babish, where this week, oh wait, we're on Bon Appetit. My name is Andrew Ray. I make a show called Binging with Babish, where I recreate the foods from movies and television. But today, we're taking a look at some of the biggest food videos on the internet. First up, the biggest burger video on Instagram with over 11.2 million views, Salt Bay Kobe Burger. Okay, I like, I like where this is going. Off to a good start, I love this guy. Now, my only objection is that this is Kobe beef and Kobe beef burgers make no sense because you're grinding it all together anyway. You can control the fat content however you want. So it's just a waste of really good beef. But this guy's doing it so I can't complain. I mean, look at him. No, what are you doing? I know you're salt, baby. You don't season your meat before you form the patty. You form the patty, then you hit it with the salt. Big no-no. I don't care what reputation you have with salt. Look, I bet this is gonna look like meatloaf on the inside. All right, I was wrong. But you don't salt your burger before you form the patty. It creates a really t closed, textured burger. You never wanna do any kind of mix-ins. I see people putting uh, Worcestershire sauce and salt and, and, and onions and cheese into their burgers, and it just ruins the texture of the burger. I don't care if you're salt bay, that's not acceptable. I would still totally like sleep with that dude, though. Next up, the biggest epic mealtime video with over 29.8 million views, fast food lasagna. 15 Big Macs, please. Chevy, Only 15? Okay, and can I get a liter of Big Mac sauce on the side? No problem. Thank you. Harley Morton seeing them. They're, they're, they're some stone cold chillers. They're cool, the cool guys. Base. Baconator layer player, more bacon strips. You'd think that, that they would use like the bacon strips from the, the Wendy's, you know. The, Wendy's does a lot of bacon. But they really gave them a liter of Big Mac sauce. I'm just curious what temp what oven temperature, how long? You're not gonna give me instructions? No instructions? How am I supposed to make this at home? Oh, God. That's repugnant. But I wanna eat it, I do. Oh, they always eat it so gross, too. They're always, like, taking multiple mouthfuls. Oh, look at these animals. <laughs> YouTube's this platform where people were suddenly able to explore ridiculous ideas like this at a whim, on, on a whim. And uh, that's, why, that's why people love this so much. These are the things that you kind of think about when you're super stoned or, you know, whatever. And, <laughs> and now people just get to grab a camera and go out and do it. And that's one of the magic parts of the Internet. Time for the next one. The biggest ramen video on YouTube with over 20.6 million views, Spicy Ramen Challenge, Kids Edition, Casey and Rachel. What's, what's this gonna be? They're gonna do Spicy Noodle Challenge! Ah! These kids are way too young to have been seen by this many people. This is really too weird. Calm down. Oh, is it not that good? Is she drinking chicken stock? <laughs> no, it's gonna be some kind of juice, but it looks like chicken stock. Somebody call protective services. This is not. This is not appropriate. Just subjecting kids to eating spicy foods it helps sometimes. You scratch your tongue. Help. I don't understand food challenges, especially ones like that, which didn't really happen. They just sort of yelled while they were eating ramen for a second. I don't really know what the challenge was. Maybe to see how loudly you can eat ramen. <laughs> if 20.6 million people liked watching that, more power to you. You guys. You guys. That paid for your college education. Coming up, the biggest tasty video on Facebook with over 203 million views, Sliders Four Ways. Okay, interesting start. I don't like where this is going. Oh, okay, I get it, I see what you're doing. Okay, I'm not mad at that. That's, that's, that's kind of a, that's, that's a quick and easy way to make a nice little meal. Breakfast sandwiches for a crowd. I got you. Spinach. Eh. Spinach puts out a lot of moisture when you when you cook it, so I can only imagine that it gets a little soggy. Actually, it's pretty good. Everything on Tasty Videos looks good. Like they do a good job. Now, what are you making? Oh, like a chicken parmesan vibe. Fri oh, okay, that's a good move. Was that like garlic butter? Ugh. <laughs> Big old meat patty. You don't bake a giant burger and then cut it in pieces and then some high school cafeteria shit. Some of those looked not half bad. And you can take away some good things from Tasty Videos. They obviously created a renaissance with their hands-only cooking uh, uh, videos and that now that there's, there's, there's millions of these videos. I don't have the problem with Tasty Videos that a lot of people do. They encourage people to get cooking and trying some of these things. Like this is super easy and somebody who's kind of new in the kitchen might feel compelled to try it. Moving on, 
The biggest pepperoni pizza video on YouTube with over 7 million views, making pepperoni pizza pancake. Already don't like it. Okay, all right, so this isn't a, an actual pizza pancake. It's just one of these drawn pancakes. That's chill. I mean, this see, this is some artistry here. I've never understood how they do these because like, how does, how does that stuff not get way overcooked by the time you're done? Or is this just like not on yet? Do they draw it on and then they turn on the heat? It's funny, have, you have to build the pizza backwards when you're making it as a pancake. Right, so now he must turn the heat on so, so it cooks evenly, right? Oh, <laughs> come on, that's great. That looks amazing. Nothing but ad from admiration for what I just saw. And pancake art's really cool and that is a great <clears throat> execution. As much as I appreciate and adore this, this shouldn't be the biggest pepperoni pizza video on the internet. Would I ha rather have this or have a pepperoni pizza? Pepperoni pizza. Next up, the biggest candy video on YouTube with over 107 million views, new exclamation point, a lot of candy. What does that mean? I hate, I hate this. I hate this. Why the f does this have a hundred and how many million views? I'm so embarrassed watching this right now. Many aspects of the internet community that I do not understand. This is one of them. How long is this video? <laughs> take him, take him. This just keeps going. It, I, oh, this is what I came all the way downtown for, it, guys. Like I'm, I've been what, what's, Oh, is it over? Please tell me it's over. Oh, thank God. Okay. Uh, yeah, no, I have a great dislike for what I just saw. <laughs> I don't know why the deranged person made it 30 minutes long. I don't know why 100 million deranged people watched it. I do know that I am less of a person now than I was 30 minutes ago. And now, the biggest poached eggs video on YouTube with over 6.1 million views, Jamie Oliver, How to Make Perfect Poached Eggs Three Ways. I already know I'm gonna love this. So here you have it, how to poach the perfect eggs. I'm curious to see what Jamie's gonna do. The only way to poach the perfect egg is if you- Oh, you had three ways, dude. Really, only way? Really, fresh eggs. Okay, that's true. End of story. Fresh eggs. Gotta use fresh eggs. As far as I understand, you get less of the wispy stuff, the light white. I don't know what you call it, the very thin white with fresher eggs. Yep, that's a good good tip. Use a bolt. A nice Celebrity chefs. Egg. Uh, transitioning to YouTube, stop stealing my spotlight. I'm kidding, again, I love seeing, you know, celebrities do stuff on YouTube. So I have a little technique. You get some food safe uh, cling film. Crack in the egg. I've never seen that method in before like in my life. Kind of creeps me out a little it's bit. It's really easy. And what that's gonna do Whoa. is give you that perfect shape. You know, I don't know about this. In there. Chili I see in the there, yolks leaking out. Oh, you, you put it face down look, so you couldn't see it. But I see a yolk. Absolutely if you're making poached eggs for a crowd, make them the night before. You can keep them in ice water and then and then just hit them in warm water for just like a minute, just to warm them through. And you can make you can make poached eggs ahead of time. Next up, the biggest burrito video on YouTube with over 16.6 .6 million views. Burritozilla killed in under two minutes. 18 inch burrito. Oh, is he gonna crush this in two minutes? I'm excited. All right, I'm excited for this. How are you gonna put that inside of your skinny little frame in two minutes? One, go. God damn, dude. The ironic thing is that he was wearing a Fitbit. That Fitbit must be like freaking out right now, like it's gonna explode. Like, you poor thing. He's already halfway through it. He's only <laughs> he's still got a minute and a half to go. Is he swallowing? Like, he just he's just biting. Because when 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 is he swallowing? He's just biting. <laughs> When's he breathing? Uh, dude, hats off to you, dude. That that was that that was a Herculean thing that you just did. It's frankly a crime that this man has 16.6 .6 million views and that fucking candy video has 100 million. This guy's got a real, really terrible taste in t-shirts, really great taste in burritos. He's going places. Next up, the biggest bagel video on YouTube with over 4.4 million views, DIY rainbow bagels. It's a row. I 
wanted to make a video uh, because birthday. I have been seeing a ton of these awesome rainbow bagels Never all had a over rainbow the bagel. internet and they look I don't so know if I ever cool will. that I, I don't understand what they are. Times are they just a because I colorful have bagel? It's like a bunch of food six color? Different colors, but you can do That's computer. Many colors you'd like. That's, that computer, We've got all of our computer tricks. I'm gonna start with pink. I don't trust the way this try dough to looks. In the purple is Ooh. on the bottom. You're gonna take a sharp cutting knife. And a sharp you're cutting cut knife, you say? All the way down. Once you've twisted the dough, now you're gonna wrap it around that your hand, just like this. Like and then I just break it off. Gently drop, just drop your it into your piss. Into the water for 15 minutes. Mm. I'm sorry. I don't trust those bagels one bit. Like bagels. a good bagel has to be like super brown and crisp on the outside, and that would ruin. That's the, that would ruin the whole point of a rainbow bagel if you got like a decent crust. These are really cool looking, but cannot imagine I'd want to actually eat one. So also because I'm sure my shit would look ridiculous the next day. And finally, from the most prolific, smartest, sexiest YouTube creator, the biggest binging with Babish video on YouTube with over 6.3 million views, Krabby Patty from SpongeBob SquarePants. Time to finally make the all-time most requested dish on this show, the Krabby Patty. The ingredients of I which I hate watching my own videos. For you. A store-bought frozen beef patty with salt, pepper, and MSG. This was this was actually a really great opportunity. This episode, I really liked being able to talk about MSG and how it's a really great thing to cook with. The, the whole fear of MSG started around this like racist research paper that came out in the 70s. This guy was like, every time I eat Chinese food, I get a headache, and everybody thinks that it gives you cancer. Now it's fine. Like some people get a headache from MSG sometimes. It's fine. It tastes great. <laughs> it, really, it really tastes good. You, you you never want to put the lettuce on top of the burger at all, or at least not directly on top of the burger, because it, the heat from the burger is going to wilt it. I'm pretty proud of that. It kind of looks like a Krabby Patty, all right? And all we're going to get from them flavor-wise is their glutamate content. I did kind of feel bad putting an anchovy in here, because anchovies are featured characters in SpongeBob. So, little... A little barbaric. You remove the burger from the heat before toast your buns. Your Always powder, toast you your buns. Set off every you can put lettuce on top if you got a whole bunch of stuff insulating it from the heat. But not, but you know, one of the many ways that the internet helps enrich and expand people's horizons is with food. So many more people are curious about where the food comes from, how to make it, how to make it better, and I'm one of those people. I learned how to cook from the internet. I didn't go to culinary school. So anything you, you see me do on my show, you can do yourself. If you just do the research, just look it up. And, and it's, it's all out there. There's so much great information. There's so much great content. I can't wait to get home and watch that candy unwrapping video over and over until I fucking die. Bon appetit, baby. <laughs>